The next day at school, I casually consulted a friend about Snow White. Maybe it was a wood sprite. You know, like the legends. Come on, dammit, I'm being serious here. I know, I'm just kidding! But if it's for real, it sounds like child abuse. <laughs> I mean, think about it. It gets real dark in these parts past 10 p.m. This ain't the city. It's just not safe for a kid to be wandering alone out there. Yeah. And then he was suspicious. That night, I went back to the lake hoping Snow White wouldn't actually be there. But of course he was. You can't be serious. As he gazed out of the lake, I walked up next to him and sat down to do the same. Is it fun just looking out at the empty lake? Not really. Hmm. With nothing else to do, I pulled my cigarettes from the pocket of my slacks. What is that? A cigarette. What's a cigarette? What? You've never seen one before. What a strange kid. He watched curiously as I slid one between my lips. You eat it? No, you inhale the smoke. How is that any different? Good question. As I spoke, I retrieved the lighter I had forgotten to pull out earlier. So you light it on fire? Yep. I take it you know what a lighter is, then. I lit the cigarette with a practice hand, and a thin trail of smoke rose up from the tip. <coughs> <coughs> what a weird smell. He buried his nose in his elbow to escape the smoke. So does the smoke taste good or something? Not at all. It's nasty. Huh. So you don't like smoking, but you do it anyway. That's weird. Yeah, maybe so. I tried a cigarette for the first time on my 20th birthday. When I took a drag, I immediately started coughing. That was how I knew I wasn't cut out to be a smoker. I had continued smoking despite that, though I still couldn't bring myself to enjoy it. They say smoking poisons the body, but there are tons of people in the world who choose to do it anyway. It's poison. Yeah, it is. So don't try it at home, alright kid? Kids like you should stick to lollipops. As I spoke, I handed him the candy I'd brought with me as a palate cleanser. However... Pass. He threw it on the ground. Hey! Oop. Reflexively, I smacked him over the head. Tch. Goddamn twerp. Didn't anybody teach you some manners? I'm not a twerp. I put out my cigarette, retrieved the candy, and put it in my mouth. This tastes way better. Isn't it dirty? What? No. It still had its wrapper on. Huh. Then, as he watched me, he piped up again. On second thought, I think I want one. Evidently, he changed his mind. Will you make up your mind? Here. I pulled out another candy and handed it over. <laughs> You're not gonna eat it? No. He raised it aloft. His expression was ever so faintly gleeful. Little weirdo. <laughs> I visited the lake again the next day, and again the day after that. Not that we did much while we were there. We'd sit side by side, stare out at the lake and chat. At first he was just some bratty kid. But over time, I grew fond of him. He wasn't whiny like most kids. In fact, 
He seemed kinda emotionally detached, and that suited me well for some reason. Before I knew it, going to the lake had become part of my nightly routine. I see you're here again. Likewise, so are you. So tell me, what is it you do out here every night? What time do you usually get here? One day, I finally decided to take the plunge and ask about his personal life. But he generally didn't answer questions he deemed uncomfortable. And tonight was no exception. I started to pull out my cigarettes, but stopped. You're not gonna smoke. Figured I shouldn't do it in front of a kid. I'm not a child. Gee, sorry. If you want to smoke it that bad, just do it. But you don't like the smoke, right? I'm fine. At this point, it felt like he was telling me to smoke. Alright then. I slid a cigarette between my lips and lit it. It's nice and peaceful here. Real quiet with nobody around. The air is clean, too. Except for your nasty cigarette smoke. Look, if you want me to put it out, I will. Nah, no need. I don't really mind it. Oh yeah. You truly are an odd duck. Not as odd as you. <laughs> you can say that again. I exhaled the smoke, and it rose into the sky. Why does your hair look like that anyways? Like I said before, I was born with it. Are you scared of me? No. Your hair is pretty. Like snow. Snow, huh? Then I guess we're a matching pair. A pair? Honestly. Standing up from the crowd can be a real hassle, but that's what makes me special. It really means a lot to me to hear people say it's pretty. As usual, Snow White gazed out of the dark lake like it was his favorite pastime. Here in the darkness, his pale features were thrown into stark relief. Hey, let me see your arm real quick. What is it? You're hurt. I could see a cut on his skin. Oh, you're right. I'm bleeding. Must have gotten scratched by a tree branch. Reflexively, I averted my eyes. What's wrong? Nothing! You look really pale. They sell bandages at the corner store, right? I'll go get some. I don't need a bandage. I'll just lick it. Don't! That's nasty! What if it gets infected? His eyes widened at me in surprise. <sighs> at the very least, let's rinse it. I pulled out my unopened bottle of mineral water and splashed it over his wound. You're being really dramatic over one measly scratch. Better safe than sorry. Trust me, you don't want a tetanus infection. That should do it for now. Patch it up when you get home, alright? Huntsman, do you... get queasy about blood? You totally do, don't you? Yes, okay! I snapped in frustration. Even though you look like a thug. My looks have nothing to do with it! Some people can't handle blood, and I'm one of them. I'm also one of them. He must have found it quite amusing, because for once he actually smiled. <laughs> You're a real odd duck yourself, Huntsman. Sometimes, when I was with Snow White, I felt like I was in a dream. Not because of his appearance or attitude or anything. Because I knew basically nothing about him, at times it felt like I was chasing a phantom. That's Snow White for you. 
I'm really curious, morbidly curious and worried about seeing when Snow takes him home. You know, how much are we going to see? But I am curious to see from Ryoshi's perspective what happened after Snow, like, ate the apple pie and passed out. Like, what happened after that? So I assume we're going to see that, hopefully. Say, is there a trick to get a specific person to open up to you? What? I'm asking you if there's... No, I heard that part. What's going on? I'm worried about someone, but they've totally closed themselves off to me. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Dude, no! He's wholesome. Leave him alone. Our man Ryoshi has the hearts for a girl! For real? No, dumbass! I smacked him over the head. Owie! I'm talking about the kid I mentioned to you a while back. Oh, that! Man, what a letdown. So you and this kid hang out a lot? You could say that. You said it's a girl, right? Why worry about her? She's just some random kid, right? It's a boy! And trust me, I don't get it either. I forget, do you have younger siblings? A younger sister, yeah. No way, for real? How old is she? Is she legal? Dude, she's 12. Ew, never mind! Got any pictures of her? I like the college friend A is like, I'm still on board. No! Good lord. As we were goofing off, one of our female friends called out to me. Ryoshi! Sorry to interrupt. Thanks for letting me borrow your book. I really liked it. Cool. Glad to hear it. Let me borrow something else sometime. That's it. Thanks, college friend C. That night, I went to the lake like always. Hey there. How are you? When I sat down next to Snow White, for once he turned to face me instead of the lake. Huntsman, don't you have anything better to do? I guess not. And neither do you. Wait a minute, you're all wet! Aren't you cold? His hair glistened in the winter moonlight. I'm fine. Here, wear my coat. I don't need to. Just wear it, all right. As I spoke, I pulled my lab coat out of my backpack and laid it over his shoulders. I said I was fine. What is this huge white coat anyways? A lab coat. Sorry it's so large, but it's meant to fit me, not you. A lab coat? So you're a doctor. A therapist in training. Like Snow White, I hadn't exactly volunteered any information about myself either. Huh. So you're gonna be a hunter. Huntsman the Hunter. Not that I really want to be, mind you. Oh? I was born to a family of doctors. Parents, relatives, everyone. So I grew up believing I'd be a doctor someday, too. Past tense. Sure enough, he took the bait. I exhaled and slowly began to explain. I'm not really fit to be a doctor. I'm not that smart. And I'm not that good with my hands. And you don't like blood, either. Right you are. So why don't you like blood, exactly? I hate the coppery smell. And I hate the color. What, red? It's just kind of gross, you know? Huh. Me too. Huh? I hate the color red too. Hmm. <laughs> what are you smirking about? You're freaking me out. I'm just not used to hearing you talk about yourself. <laughs> oh! 
Evidently, he didn't appreciate that. Scowling, he stared out at the lake. Perhaps that short temper was proof that he was still just a kid. I pulled my cigarettes from my pocket. Another cigarette? How'd you know? Anyone could have guessed. He seemed to have acclimated to the smoke, because he didn't grimace this time. As I smoked, I thought about him. If I tried to pry any further, he'd probably ignore me. Worst case scenario, he'd start avoiding me. So... How come you smoke if you know it's bad for you? Do you want to die? No, I'm not trying to die. It's just... Just what? When I do it, I feel like I'm that much closer to my goal. Huh. The nicotine helped to clear my mind and I remembered something. That reminds me... Ouch! The cigarette fell from my lips and singed my skin ever so slightly. But that wasn't important right now. I brought a little gift for you tonight. What is it? Found this when I was cleaning my room. Want it? As I spoke, I handed him a brand new book from the store. You like books, don't you? Honestly, I didn't know much about his interests. But I figured books were a safe bet. Thank you. After a moment of hesitation, he accepted the gift. Mission complete. Be sure to read it when you get home. I gave him a pat on the head. He scowled and swatted my hand away. Yeah, yeah, I know. Ah, so wholesome. The next day after school, as I was packing up to head home, my female friend called out to me. Hey, Ryoshi! We're all grabbing drinks after class today. Wanna come? Sorry, I have plans. Oh, again? Eh, uh, just forget about him. He's too obsessed with Snow White these days. What? Who's that? See ya. Hey! Wait a minute! Call me a bad friend if you like, but by that point, Snow White was my second highest priority after schoolwork. Aw, you're a good friend to Snow White. As I headed to the lake, I realized I was hungry. Why am I so hungry? Right, I haven't eaten anything since lunch. Guess I'll swing by the corner store. As I browsed the shelves, Snow White's scrawny body came to mind. Wonder if he's getting enough to eat. Maybe I'll grab some stuff kids like. And so I showed up to the lake with a plastic to-go bag in each hand. Hey there. Welcome back from school. Studying more Huntsman stuff, I take it. Huh? I didn't understand what he meant at first. You're gonna be a hunter, right? A hunter named Huntsman. Oh, that's what you meant. What is that, some kind of bad pun? In response, he barely suppressed a laugh. <laughs> did... Did you just laugh? No. Liar, you totally did. No, I didn't. Sensing that the conversation was going nowhere, I decided to make a pun of my own. My bicycle can't stand on its own. It's too tired. <laughs> Good riders exercise comma sense. <laughs> <laughs> You were more giggly than I thought. It's your fault. Telling me those dumb jokes <laughs> with a total straight face. That funny, huh? Frankly, I didn't see the humor in it whatsoever. So Snow White's a pun guy, eh? I'm learning more about him. 
And yet, Snow White was clutching his sides. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> his laughter was contagious, and I chuckled right along with him. At the very least, he seemed to enjoy my company. So, nothing today. Huh? Books. Oh, right. No, didn't bring any today. Hmm. How was the one I gave you? Good? Decent, I guess. I see. Then I better bring you an even better one next time. Yeah. You like books? They're okay, I guess. Do you have a favorite genre? Like mystery, or picture books, or... You have picture books at your house? Good point. I don't. Thought so. Eh, I'm fine with any genre. That doesn't narrow it down for me any. As we talked, I remember the food I bought. What? Kid, you're practically skin and bones. Have you been eating at all? Sure, I eat. Hmm. Here, eat this. I grabbed a random sandwich and pulled it out of the bag. What's in there? You're still a kid, so you need to eat more. Otherwise, you won't grow big and strong. Relax. I didn't poison them or anything. This was the same reaction I got when I tried to give him that candy. Perhaps he was taught to be suspicious of gifts from strangers. So I unwrapped the sandwich and started eating it myself. I wanted to demonstrate that it was safe. Is it good? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Maybe I clicked too far. <laughs> if you want to find out for sure, then have one. I offered him the other half, but he shook his head. No thanks. What? You're not hungry? Nah. I wasn't offended. I figured maybe I worried about him too much. So I ate the rest of the sandwich myself. Huntsman, do you ever cook for yourself? Nope. Do you have someone else who cooks for you? No, I live on my own. Huh. What about you? My mother always makes apple pies for me. Apple pies, you say? Uh-huh. Hmm. That was the moment I learned that Snow White had a mother. And if she was generous enough to make treats for her son, then she didn't sound abusive. You like sweets, then? No. So you and your mom live together? I'm going home now. A little early still, isn't it? Sure enough, if I got too nosy, he would turn skittish and flee. Well, at least take this with you. I handed him one of the to-go bags. What? Your sloppy seconds? No. Everything in there is perfectly untouched. There's all kinds of snacks. Just eat them whenever you get hungry later. No thanks. Okay, then. Just kidding. I'll take it. Make up your mind, kid. Laughing, I handed him the bag. Thanks. No prob. And I think he tried to eat it, but it just didn't, didn't work out. After that, I started bringing little gifts to the lake every night. Here, I brought you this. I keep telling you I don't need it. Come on, just take it. If you don't want it, then toss it. I never found out what happened to the food I gave him. I was just doing it to make myself feel better. Huntsman, do people ever tell you you're a mom friend? It's true, though. No, not really. But for whatever reason, I've looked after a fair few kids in my life. 
What do you mean? Well, me and my sister are ten years apart. We aren't close, but... You have a sister? Yeah, a younger sister. Whoa. I never knew you had a sister. Yeah, because I never mentioned it until now. Huh. Well, what's she like? Is she a grouch like you? She's nothing like me. So you're saying she's cute? Well, sure, I guess. Certain people like to gush about how adorable she is. Huh. Does she look different from the other kids? Yeah, I'd say so. His keen intuition continued to impress me. And in that sense, I guess she is similar to me. We're both a couple of freaks. How so? She has two-toned eyes. Her eyes have two colors? Yeah, exactly. Granted, it isn't entirely unheard of. But in her case, her irises have a vertical blue to red gradient. Whoa. Is it a health condition? No. Like me, it's simply the way she was born. Her eyesight's fine, so she's really no different from anyone else. You both must really stand out. Yeah, you could say that. We attract attention no matter where we go. So how old is she? About the same as you. She has really long hair and... What? Come to think of it, you remind me of her. I do. It's not just your appearance, either. It's hard to explain. Something about them both compelled me to look out for them. <laughs> Just then, Snow White leaned forward and tipped head first toward the lake. Hey! Careful, damn it! Hastily, I grabbed him by the scruff of the neck and hauled him back. I was just looking at the water. He smacked my hand away, then hung his head. Is there something in the lake? I peered into the water myself, but could see only darkness. Arisa. Huh? It's nothing. Forget it. Interesting. Snow, accessing some memories. Once he found out about my sister, he started asking me all about her. So, what kind of personality does your sister have? It's kind of hard to describe. How about her hair? It's thick and curly, with tons of volume. Sort of looks like cotton candy. And her skin? Pale, if I remember correctly. And her lips? That, I don't remember. I hadn't ever paused to examine my sister's face. What are her likes and dislikes? No clue. Okay, then. What books does she like? No clue. What sort of stuff makes her sad? No clue. What? You're useless. I'm gonna smack you. You already did! He pouted his lips in protest. How is it that you know hardly anything about your own sister? Beats me. We were born ten years apart, so we barely ever talk to each other. What's she up to these days? Living abroad with her mother. Mom got invited to join a foreign medical research team, and she took my sister with her. She would have been nine at the time. Abroad? So she's all the way on the other side of the ocean. He gazed out at the lake as he spoke. Yep. Likewise, I looked at the water. With the ebb and flow of the waves, it was actually quite reminiscent of the sea. I've been living here, so we haven't seen each other in years now. Are you lonely, living on your own? 
Not really. What about her? No clue. Like I said, we rarely talk to each other growing up. So I doubt she misses me too much. Huh. Your family's weird. Yeah, I agree. His blunt opinion put a self-deprecating smile on my face. So why'd you move out here to the countryside? My family has a summer home here. One I used to visit every year as a kid. Plus, it's not that far from civilization. And there's a good college here, too. He was the one who asked, and yet he glared at me when I answered. Maybe he was judging me for skating by on Daddy's money. That being said, it hurts to be left out, I imagine. Hastily, I changed the subject to escape the awkward tension. What are you talking about? My sister. Believe it or not, she is quite the crybaby. I see. <sighs> it was well past 11 o'clock when I finally made it back home. I was worried I'd kept Snow White out too late, but had no way of checking in to make sure he'd made it home safely. Several times I'd offered to walk him home, only to be stubbornly refused. I thought back to my own experiences in middle and high school. Back then, I always hated going home, so I'd intentionally stay out as late as I could. Does she miss me? I never thought about it. Come to think of it, we did take that picture together. And I never got to see it. I went into the living room and pulled a photo album from a small cupboard in the TV entertainment center. Found it! As I flipped through, I found the photo from her visit to the summer home. Really takes me back. Wonder how she's doing these days. Here, I brought this for you. What is it? A photo of my sister. <laughs> Yank! He snatched the photo out of my hand and gazed at it eagerly. So that's her? Yep, that's my sister. Huh. You look a little younger here. Do I? Yeah. Except you have the same grouchy face. I flicked him on the forehead. <laughs> he shot me a dirty look, then went straight back to the photo. She really does have strange eyes. They seem less red and more pink. She's really pretty. So why do you care about me so much? Huh? Now you ask me that? I fell silent beneath his gaze. It felt like he could see right through me. And it wasn't a feeling I enjoyed. At first, I thought you must be pretty bored to hang out with some kid this late at night. But the truth is, you have a reason for doing it, right? Not really. I lied on reflex and immediately regretted it. Why did I feel the need to hide the fact that I sincerely cared for him as a person? What about you? Why do you want to know about my sister, huh? Because she's a fairy tale protagonist. What? Well, okay. That's part of it. But it's not just that. I want to know about her because... She's a princess I've never met. What? Mm. Don't you roll your eyes at me, kid. It's not my fault I don't understand your stupid metaphor. Whatever. You don't have to. He turned away, sulking. For once he was acting his age. <sighs> I let out a sigh, exhaling cigarette smoke. He seemed really interested in my sister. Maybe he was connected to his family situation somehow. I don't know if she's a princess, but she's a lot more gifted than I am. 
She can do just about anything. Our parents really trust her. They spoil her rotten. <laughs> More than you. Did you choose to come out here and study to be a hunter because you wanted to get away from her? I stayed silent, but he seemed to interpret this as confirmation. Gotcha. You never really wanted to be a hunter at all, did you? I'm still just an intern. You know. Well, not even that, really. So basically... You resented your more talented sister for not having to carry on the family legacy because she was a girl. But aren't female hunters pretty common these days? I mean, isn't your mom a hunter too? Yep. He was reading me like a book, and yet I felt oddly at ease. Maybe I was finally starting to come to terms with my own feelings. Well, I think I can understand how you feel. It sucks being constantly compared to someone else. You're your own person, you know. <laughs> A different friend had said something similar to me in the past. Both he and Snow White seem to earnestly care about me. Thanks. For what? Just felt like saying it. He frowned in confusion, then he looked into my eyes. Say, Huntsman, if you've lost your way, then allow me to give you a hint. What? Now it was my turn to frown. Let's play a game. What? I said let's play a game. I'll give you a riddle, and I want you to solve it. As usual, his behavior was completely spontaneous. But it was unusual for him to make a suggestion of his own. And if I win... I'll tell you my secret. The word secret made me realize that Snow White had me figured out. If I can guess the right answer, will you stop doing this crap? What crap? You know what I'm talking about. Wandering around alone at night. Oh, that. I'll think about it. He looked away as he spoke. Don't just think about it. I want you to promise me. Okay. I promise. Fine. I'll play your little game. You really don't have a life, do you? And neither do you. We both chuckled. <laughs> <laughs> then he closed his eyes and spoke in a quiet voice. It's something that doesn't make sense. Something anyone may possess, but the moment you obtain it, it ceases to exist. Anyone can have one, but when you open your eyes, it will vanish without a trace. The hell was that? A riddle. That's the riddle? My face was so stiff even I could feel it. I wasn't great at flowery metaphors to begin with, so the vague indirect language... Normal for riddles, I suppose. Made me recoil. Snow White saw this and snickered. <laughs> well, good luck. <laughs>